What is going on everybody? Welcome to another viewer suggested video. If you're unfamiliar with what I have been doing lately, I've been asking you guys, the viewers, what you specifically want to see. And this has been a lot of fun throughout the past several weeks because I get to do exactly what you guys want to see instead of just putting stuff out that I feel like doing at the time. So if you're wondering how can you submit to this, every Sunday after my video is uploaded, I make a post on my community page to ask you guys for next week's topic. So you'll just wanna go there, comment on it with whatever you have suggested, and then sometime after that on Tuesday of the following week, I'll go ahead and pick the topic. I'll comment on it, let you know that you have been selected so you can look forward to the video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you have the bell icon turned on, that way you'll get the notification when I do post to the community tab or upload new content. So let's get into this one for this week. Our suggestion this week comes in from Don S. Don S is asking for a detailed guide on how to point boost in Slayer effectively with tips on cannoning and teleports. I heard you can go to a certain Slayer master for nine tasks, then someone like Duradel for the last one, but I'm not sure how exactly to do it or if there is a best method. Well done. I have done this a lot, I have a lot of experience with Turiel point boosting, so we're going to cover everything you need to know throughout this guide just so you can go get some awesome Slayer points per hour. So the first thing we need to know is who is Turiel? Turiel is one of the easiest Slayer Masters in the game, and Turiel is located in Berthorp. Now Turiel has the ability to give you an easier task when you've been assigned something hard. So let's say you go to Duradel and get a Water Fiends task and you're like, wow, I really don't want to do this, but you don't have enough Slayer points to cancel the task and get something else. Well, you can go to Turiel and he will give you something much easier to replace that task. However, if you do that, it will reset your current task streak. So if you're at a thousand tasks and you do that, that task streak is gone. Now with Turiel point boosting, what we wanna do is we want to finish the current task that we're on so we don't reset that streak. Turiel can still give you tasks that count toward your Slayer streak without actually resetting it as long as you are getting a new Slayer task and not canceling an existing one. This is the basis of Slayer point boosting. Turiel gives extremely easy tasks which are incredibly fast to complete. That way you can get through tasks one through nine in a set of 10 very quickly. And then on to our next step, we're gonna go visit one of our better Slayer Masters, such as Konar, Neaver Steve, or Duradel. So once you have finished the Slayer task you're on, you're gonna start getting tasks from Turiel. In a set of 10, you're gonna do tasks one through nine at Turiel, and then you're gonna head over to one of the better Slayer Masters to get that 10th task point bonus. Now as for this, every Slayer Master gives different bonuses depending on the 10th task. You get 5 times points every 10th, 15 times every 50th, 25 times every 100th, 35 times every 250th, and 50 times every 1000th task. Now I'm only going to suggest doing Turiel point boosting with 3 Slayer Masters and those are the 3 higher ones, Konar, Quo Matin, Neven Steve, and Duradel. This is where it's going to be the most beneficial for you. For every 10th task at Konar, you're getting 90 points or 100 points with the Karen and Kebos diary completed, and this is because you have to do these tasks in a certain area, so you get a point bonus for that as well through Konar. As for Neve and Steve, you'll get 60 points every 10th task or 75 points to match Duradel's every 10th task with the Western Provinces Elite Diaries completed, and with Duradel, you'll get 75 points every 10th task completed, and you'll also get those bonuses for every other 10th task, the 50th, 100th, 250th, and 1000th that we just talked about. Now, as for these Slayer Masters, they do have combat level requirements with them as well. Konar, you'll have to have a combat level of 75. Neve and Steve are 85 combat, and Duradel is level 100 combat. So as for the point boosting method, it is super simple. In a set of 10 tasks, every 1st through 9th task you're going to do at Turiel, and every 10th task you're going to do at either Konar, Neve and Steve, or Duradel. So now let's get into Turiel's task list. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go through each monster that Turiel can assign. There are only 25 of them, and we're gonna talk about the best location for Slayer Point farming. So first up is going to be Banshees. These are very easy to kill. Level 15 Slayer is required. The best place to do these is going to be in the Slayer Tower. You can get there the easiest with the Slayer Ring Teleport, or if you don't have that, you can use the Fairy Ring CKS to the Mortania Swamp Gate Teleport and just run north to the Slayer Tower. Next up is going to be Bats. 
Bats can be found in the abandoned mine in a very large amount. The abandoned mine is the mine from the Haunted Mine quest. You can use the Mauritania Legs 3 or 4 to teleport to Bergdorot and then run west, hop over the gate, and enter the mine from there. Next up is going to be Bears. There are a couple locations that are really good for these. East of Relica, but my favorite spot for these is going to be southwest of the Legends Guild. You can either use an Ardoin Teleport or the Fairy Ring to the Legends Guild to get there the fastest. Next up is birds. These ones are actually great because you can sub in chickens for these because technically there are birds. And even better than that, you can do the undead chickens, which are located at Alice's farm west of the Ectofunctus. If you use an Ectophile, you can get there very quickly. They're very low level. They have like 2 HP or 3 HP or something like that. This task takes minutes to complete. Next up is going to be cave bugs. The best place for cave bugs are going to be in the Lumbridge Swamp Caves, and you can get there using the Fairy Ring Teleport AJQ. Very low level, very quick to complete. Next up is Cave Crawlers. Cave Crawlers' best location are going to be in the Fremenic Slayer Dungeon. You can get there using the Slayer Ring or the Fairy Ring Teleport AJR. You will need a Slayer level of 10 to kill the Cave Crawlers. Next up is Cave Slime. You'll need a Slayer level of 17 for these. These are also located in the Lumbridge Swamp Caves. Again, Fairy Ring Code AJQ is going to get you there the fastest. Next up is Cows. Over at Alice's Farm, west of the Ectofunctus, you can kill Undead Cows, which also satisfies normal cows. Very quick task. Use your Ectophile to get there. Next up is Crawling Hands. Slayer level of 5 is needed to complete this. Slayer Tower is going to be your best spot right there on the first floor. Once again, Slayer Ring or CKS Fairy Ring Teleport. Next up is Dogs. This is one of the annoying ones that Turiel does assign. Now the best way to do this is actually going to be Jackals, which are west of the Narda Fairy Ring DLQ. Now they do have a little bit more HP than most of the stuff on Turiel's task list, so this is one of the ones that will take you a little bit longer to do. Next up is going to be Dwarves, and the best place to do these is going to be in the Dwarven Mine. Fastest way to get there is going to be with a Skills Necklace Teleport to the Mining Guild. Next up is Ghosts. Ghosts, super easy task. These are in the Catacombs of Karend. Right as you go in, you'll see the Abyssal Demons to your northeast. If you head towards those, you'll find a room full of Ghosts and kill those very quickly. Next up is Goblins. Everybody knows where Goblins are. Lumbridge. Whole lot of goblins walking around in Lumbridge. You can go ahead and knock those out very quickly. You can also set up a cannon here and knock them out even faster. As for me, I never use a cannon when I'm point boosting for Turiel. It takes time to set it up, waste money. Everything is very easy and fast to kill. Next up is going to be Ice Fiends, and these are super easy to kill. They are located on Ice Mountain, just north of the entrance to the Mining Guild over there by the Monastery. You can use a Lassar Teleport to get here, which is an Ancient Magic Teleport. I suggest using the Teleport tab to get here quickly. Next up is Calphites. Everybody knows where Calphites are. There are a couple of locations. You can use the BIQ fairy ring teleport to get to the cow fight lair there are some cow fights in there or if you do have some desert diaries completed you can use the desert amulet to teleport right to the cow fight task only cave next up is going to be lizards the best place for these is going to be out in the desert and these are the desert lizards east of the narda fairy ring dlq now you will need to have those ice boxes which you can buy from a slayer master to finish off the kill i would suggest that if you're going to be doing a lot of point boosting then you're going to want to unlock the automatic ice box kill for the desert lizards it makes it a lot easier Next up is Minotaurs. Minotaurs are located in the Stronghold of Security, which is in the Barbarian Village. You want to have a Skull Scepter that is charged. That way you can teleport right to the Barbarian Village, get there very quickly. Next up is Monkeys. This is another annoying one. The best place to do the Monkeys are going to be in the Ardoin Zoo. However, you do have to kill these with ranged. Now there is a mix of Monkeys that you can talk to or you can do combat with in the Ardoin Zoo. I would suggest using the Runelight NPC indicators. That way you can tag the ones that you can attack, track their respawn rates, and see where they're walking around so you don't keep talking to the ones you can just talk to. Next up is going to be Rats. Rats, super easy task. Varrock Sewers is where you're going to want to go for this. Right in there where you start one of those cat quests. They're right there as soon as you go in. You can kill the giant rats and the little rats. Next up is Scorpions. Scorpion's best place for this is going to be in the Dwarven Mine. Once again, you're going to want to use the Skills Necklace Teleport to the Mining Guild. Tons of Scorpions walking around right there as you teleport in. 
Next up is going to be skeletons. I would suggest having the dig site quest completed for this one because the best place for these are going to be in the dig site dungeon. If you go down one of those winches, there's spawns of 10 to 12 or something like that. Skeletons just walking around in that dungeon. Next up is going to be sour hogs. As for sour hogs, you'll have to have the quest completed a poor sign of interest. For this, it's really easy to get to. Drainer Manor Teleport, and that is one of the Archaeus Teleport tablets. Then you'll just run slightly to the northeast, enter the dungeon there, and you can kill yourself some Sour Hogs. But if you don't have that quest completed, you won't have to worry about being assigned these. Next up is Spiders. Spiders, the best place for these is actually outside the Ham Hideout. You can use the Lumbridge Teleport or Teleport to uh, Drainer Village and then just run to your east. I would suggest the Drainer Village teleport, it is a little faster. Wolves is up next, and this is our last kind of annoying one, because the wolves are located in the Stronghold of Security. There are other wolves around like White Wolf Mountain or something like that, but they're kind of spread out. As for these ones, very low level, low HP. The only problem is they do have a long respawn timer. So if you do get wolves through Turiel, you'll want to go into the Stronghold of Security right around where the Minotaurs are, kill your five of them, and then hop worlds, kill five more, and repeat the process until your task is over. As for Turiel's last task, it's going to be zombies. The great thing about zombies is they are also satisfied by the undead chickens and the undead cows in Alice's farm west of the Ectofunctus. So once again, you can use your Ectophile, get there very quickly, and knock out a zombies task in just minutes. So that is it for the task list and the best place to kill all of those monsters on tasks for Turiel skipping. If you're looking for a specific one and you're coming back to this video, you can check out the description below. There are timestamps for each one of these monsters in there. For now, we're gonna get into what you might want to wear and what items you wanna bring just to make it faster for you. So the first thing I want to suggest to make this a lot faster is be on the Lunar Spellbook. If you were on the Lunar Spellbook, you can use the NPC Contact spell to contact Turiel from wherever you are in the game and get yourself a Slayer task. This way you don't have to teleport to your house, use the jewelry box to Birthorp or bring a games necklace with you. You can just do it right after you finish one of these tasks, contact him, get a new task, and off you go to the next one. All right, let's talk inventory first. So this stuff you're seeing on the screen right now is all you are going to need when it comes to transportation for getting around to your different tasks. Slayer Ring, Mauritania Legs 3 or 4. You cannot use the Berg to Rot Teleport with 1 or 2. It has to be 3 or 4. You're going to have to have a Draman or Lunar Staff for the Fairy Rings, but if you have the Lumbridge Elite Diaries done, you don't need this anymore. You can use the Fairy Rings without a Staff. Ectophile, Skills Necklace, Desert Amulet to get to the Calphite Cave that is task only. You want a Xerix Talisman to get to the Catacombs of Karen. The Skull Scepter makes getting to the Barbarian Village for the Stronghold of Security super simple. As for Teleport Tablets, Lumbridge, Varrock, Ardoin, Drainer Manor, and Lassar Teleports. You'll also want to have house teleports just to recharge your stats in between tasks such as your run energy and whatever else you might get poisoned from a couple things so you want to have those or some other form of teleport to your house. You'll also want to take a couple stamina potions with you because you can do tons of these tasks back to back, no banking necessary. A little side note for our higher level construction friends here, some of this stuff you can get rid of. You won't have to have a skills necklace in your inventory, obviously because you probably have a jewelry box in your house, which does have that. You can also get rid of the Xerix talisman, which does mount on the wall. You can use that from your player owned house. And if you do have the portal nexus in your house, you can get rid of all the teleport tablets because they are all there. Everything else you wanna keep, the Slayer Ring, the Legs, the Draman or Lunar Staff, Ectophile, the Skull Scepter, Stamina Potions, all that stuff has to stay, and the Desert Amulet. So what'll make this a lot easier for gearing up for these, you can use the Runelite Bank Tags plugin to create yourself a bank tag. Mine is just called Point Boosting. All of those items I have in that tab tagged as Point Boosting. So when I get back to those tasks one through nine of a set of 10, I just come in here, grab all my stuff real quick. You'll also notice I have some super combat potions in there. I do use those because it does speed up the task. You can one shot pretty much almost everything on that list. You can almost one shot. So it makes it a lot faster if you are using super combat potions as well. So set up a bank tag for this, it will make it a whole lot faster. So as for your gear setup, absolutely super simple. 
Basically, you're just gonna wanna have the best in slot melee gear that you currently have. The only task on Turiel's list that cannot be meleeed is the monkeys in the Ardoin Zoo. So you will need to have some range gear on hand for that. I personally don't take it with me because it's not like you're gonna get monkeys every single task. I just bank and grab some range gear if I have to. Normally, you're not really gonna see the monkeys. They do have a decent task weight, but if you do, I would just suggest going to the bank and grabbing it so you're not weighing yourself down with more inventory stuff. That way your run lasts longer, your stamina potions last longer, and yeah. So I just use Bandos, and Avernic Defender, a Rapier, but anything that you have that will sub in for this melee gear will work just fine. So that is gonna do it, everybody. That is Slayer point boosting through Turiel. Very easy, very simple process to get a ton of Slayer points per hour. So Don S, I hope that I have answered your question and given you a good guide to point you in the right direction to getting all of those Slayer points. If you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you know when the community post comes out so you can suggest your own video topic for next week's video. Once again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy.